Hey guys, what's going on? So, the past few days for me have been hectic. I have been out all day non-stop, and uh, I'm going to explain why um, in just a second. But, geez, have I been doing a lot. I just now got in the door. Um, I'm sure the majority of you guys have seen my new review that I just posted on my main channel. If not, it is the first of three um, Iron Man 3 reviews. And, uh, yeah, the new LEGO Iron Man 3 sets are at Toys R Us stores. However, there's a bit of a predicament with it. The sets have, what I called on Twitter, a bit of a firewall that the LEGO group has surrounded them with. So, um, you know, you have the Malibu Mansion attack right here, along with the uh, Seaport Battle, and the uh, Ultimate Showdown. And all three sets are slated for a March 7th release date. And what this means is that these sets, if you even go to your Toys R Us and find them, and you attempt to ring them up, they, the register will beep and not allow your Toys R Us associate to sell them to you. So, I had to go to great lengths and uh, weave my way around things to get these sets. And um, after a lot of effort, I managed to pull it off. And uh, I got the sets for you guys. And I'm, I'm already in the process of reviewing them. First review is up on my channel, if you haven't seen that already. And it is on the Seaport Battle. And uh, great sets. Really great sets. I, I love them. Uh, the Ultimate show Showdown is a little bit boring. Um, the Mandarin portion of it, at least, with his uh, thing... Whatever it is that he drives around, I'll, I'll, I'll find out what it is before I actually record the review. Um, but, I mean, the Mandarin, the Mandarin variant is, in this one is a little bit boring. But in the Malibu Mansion Attack, the Mandarin variant is really awesome, if you can see him right there. That is easily the coolest one. Now, the Mandarin, I honestly, I, I don't know why Lego didn't do this, but I tried this hairpiece on him, and it looks so much better. Let me see if I can turn on a light for you guys. And uh, you can see that it just looks so much better with this hairpiece. I love it. And, uh, of course, I, I won't be able to use this in the review. And that's a brick arms gun. He doesn't actually come with that. But, you know, I just kind of changed a few things, um, you know, as, you know, I was just playing around with it. But anyway, so in the new Seaport Battle review, I gave kind of a sneak preview of what I'm working on. And uh, what I'm working on is a Iron Man Mark 42 um, extremist suit, which you guys have already seen before. But then this is the new Iron Patriot figure that I'm working on. Ignore the legs, those aren't really anything yet. But I am working on an Iron Patriot minifigure to go with the Mark 42. And then uh, I'll probably do some customizing on the Mandarin later on after the review. But uh, yeah, I also reviewed the new Planet sets. And just so you guys know, the giveaway is still a go. I have the set ready to go. I'm just waiting till a certain amount of comments, at least till the comments really die down. And that is when I'll reveal uh, what the next, or you know, what the, who the winner was. Um, but anyway, so like I said, I was out, I've been out and about a lot, uh, mainly getting the Iron Man 3 sets, and uh, while I was out adventuring getting the Iron Man 3 sets, I actually managed to find a, uh, uh, two comic book stores, and I stopped by, and man, the first one was cool, because I actually found some pretty cool collectibles in there, one of which was the Sideshow Captain Rex. Now, I, when I was with Flame Baby 735 down in Miami in uh, early 2011, I passed that up. I didn't think it was that cool at the time. But then that was before I really got into Sideshow. Um, and so, I didn't pass it up that time. I grabbed that thing and I got out of there. And I was kind of happy because I knew that I wasn't going to be Sideshow Captain Rexless any further. But yeah, here are the other Sideshow uh, commanders that I have. And they are all pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I got the Sideshow Rex. And then I went to another comic book shop, and there I found something really awesome. These guys, if you don't know what Hot Toys are, they make the most realistic collectibles uh, that you'll find anywhere. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually a Japanese company, and uh, I am beginning to collect them. Right now, I have Captain America, and uh, you can see him right there. I have Batman, the DX-12 Batman, and now what I got at the comic book store was the Avengers Hawkeye. And these are the most realistic figures you will ever find. Uh, I wouldn't say ever find. I mean, we're, you know, who knows what might come up in the future. But as of right now, Hot Toys Collectibles have the most realistic figures ever. That is Jeremy Renner's face recreated in plastic to the most accurate extent. And I absolutely love Hot Toys for that reason and their accuracy and attention to detail to really make the ultimate uh, figures. 
because honestly, Hasbro, they don't do it. Well, they don't do it right. They're they're lame. But um, anyway, I, and then in this comic book shop, I also found a Clone Wars season five Commander Fox, and uh, he's pretty cool. I posed him and everything, and he looks awesome. So uh, yeah. Then earlier today, I went to uh, Target, and um, I got a Lego friend set. Not sure if I'm going to review this, but I did get it, and uh, that's pretty cool. The only reason I got it is because it comes with a squirrel. I'm going to use that squirrel for something in the future. I don't know what. You guys, you guys know me. I'm crazy. I'm going to do something with it. Um, and then while I was browsing in Target, I also came across this. I don't know. It's a lunch tray. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But like I said, I'm crazy. I'll figure something out. And what I like about this is that it's updated. Like, these are, you know, like, this is all their updated armor and their updated outfits. It's not like, um, for example, uh, you'll go around and you'll find, like, Clone Wars merchandise, and it'll have, like, Captain Rex's Phase 1 armor, Obi-Wan's, like, Season 1 and 2 outfit, and the same with Anakin. So I'm really glad to see, like, you know, a Season 3 and uh, further updated merchandise item. So, awesome. And, yeah, so, I'm going to make you all dizzy. Um, anyway... So, uh, that's about it for this vlog. I don't have anything else to discuss other than one thing, which I just revealed on Flickr, Twitter, and Facebook. This is why I really recommend you guys subscribe to my second channel, my uh, Twitter. You follow my Twitter and uh, like my Facebook because uh, you'll see a lot of stuff here a lot sooner than you will on my main channel. Anyway, so, uh, what I have to show you is uh, my work in progress, Crisis 3, Profit minifigure. I'm pretty sure you can see that. If not, I'm going to show you right now. Let me get him off that little stand. And uh, you can see that he's looking awesome. Crisis 3 is not a game that I particularly have had an interest in, but after seeing so many awesome advertisements and hearing about its graphics engine, you know, CryEngine 3, if you guys are familiar with that, I took a dive into the universe, get, got to know the story a little bit, got to know the main character, Profit. Um, and I really enjoy the story, so I decided that I'm going to celebrate it by making profit in Lego. And uh, you can see that he is turning out absolutely wonderful, and I really look forward to showcasing him for you guys. He will be the next showcase. Um, he, you know, this next showcase video will be on him. So he obviously he's not done. I still have to do his legs, the back of it. I have to finish the back of him, and uh, then only then will he be done. But yeah. So, real quick, here's a look at the uh, Malibu Mansion set. This one is uh, really cool. Even though it is like a really small play set, it is still really awesome. You get some great stickers that come with this one. Um, you can see there's the inside, the interior there. You have like a kitchen area, a blender, and then you also have the uh, computer area, which if I can just turn it around for you, you can kind of see it there. It's really awesome. You can stand Pepper or Tony or whoever you'd like there. And then you have a hall of armor, and with the pull of a lever, that hall of armor area actually explodes. So if you have any extra Iron Man suits, you can put them right there, and it's kind of cool. Because it's like, like I said, it's a really nice playset of uh, Tony Stark's mansion that we always see in the films. And uh, then the new Tony Stark minifigure is also very, very nice. So I, I, it's always cool to see new Iron Man minifigures because, you know, I never thought we'd get a Tony Stark, and especially a Tony Stark that looks this good. So, uh, yeah, other than that, there's Pepper. She's pretty cool, too. And, yeah, that's about it for this uh, vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'm glad the whole time I wasn't just talking. I was actually showing you guys stuff. And, uh, yeah, so that's good. But other than that, that's about it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yay. Sideways vlog for the win. But anyway, all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stupid thing.